was planning to do uh, you know an installation DIY of this visor I've already installed this I'll uh, remove that and you know I haven't used the rubber washer to you know fit that screw there so I'll use something which is quite similar to rubber washer it's not rubber washer it's something um, and this is a waterproofing tape waterproofing tape which you get in electric electric shop so I have few I'll be using that to stick in between this to a uh, screw here inside there so let me just remove that and before that uh, let me tell you how I removed uh, my stock visor so guys if you are planning to you know uh, install this visor uh, by yourself please be very sure very careful while you are removing the uh, stock visor because these four screws which you see you need to remove this to remove the stock visor and these two I mean these four you know on the uh, screw which has a rubber nut you know and there's a rubber washer which is actually uh, you know uh, stick to the uh, rubber uh, stick to the nut so be very careful when I remove this because I have lost one two and three this is the only one a uh, stock you know a stock um, a rubber washer with the screw uh, you know attached to that is so I had to visit the, uh, you know the service center and get this screw get the washers from them uh, you know it is quite sturdy it will not vibrate yeah but be very careful when you remove these four these four uh, you know uh, these four screws so now I'll just remove this visor and uh, let me just ensure it's done that So you can see that I have just screwed, I have tried to you know, tighten the visor only on these two screws. So there is no support here. So I might you know uh, try to get a clamps done for that. But for the meanwhile I will use this to check if there is any vibration or not. But yeah I have rode around like 30-40 km, there was no vibration. So let me just show you what I am going to stick and install there. this tape here and I'll install this visor to open Tighten it so you can see that I've tightened all the screw here. The best part how to see this is see through this gap. I can't show you in the camera, but yeah, when you see this through this gap, you shouldn't see any you know any uh, thread left while tightening. Any thread left while tightening. So this is how I did the AS200 visor installation to my terminal. So there is no drilling to, uh, done for this, there is no extra clamps put for this, it's just the stock screw or the uh, you know, uh, stock holes where, uh, which were here, I just tightened to them. And this is how it looks, it is quite steady, it is not moving, I need to, you know, the visor look dirty there, that's the, uh, the mark I guess, yeah, that's the glue mark here. on a ride uh, for Lepakshi or uh, the other rides so at that time I could feel the you know wind blast on my chest so press this I actually did a 30 to 40 km ride 
which was actually good and I didn't feel any wind blast on the chest so thank you guys for watching this video bye bye